Let's talk artificial intelligence. It is both terrifying and exciting. And it's a, it's a new frontier that our reporter Jonathan Lee has looked into in this special documentary tonight at 8pm Australian Eastern Time. And I'm happy to say he joins me live now. Jonathan Lee, good to see you from Brisbane this morning. So are you more optimistic or are you still terrified about what's ahead after doing this documentary? Laura, thanks for having me. Always great to chat. Uh, absolutely terrified, if I'm to be honest. Um, we've spent a lot of time over the last eight weeks, ten weeks, investigating artificial intelligence. It's really important to note that it's not a new idea. It's been around. The, the term was coined back in the 50s. But it's the new developments in generative AI, the ability for artificial intelligence to generate things and replicate and emulate the human brain that really is starting to erode jobs uh, and we get a sense of where artificial intelligence is going to end up in the future. I can't believe that I sat down and interviewed a robot and I can tell you honestly that I felt as uneasy during those moments as I have in court cases, very, very serious court cases, uh, to hear those behind the creation of the deep fakes and the vision of a future that they believe we will have. Get this, they talk about us being able to have conversations with dead relatives long after they've passed. The idea of going to a cemetery and looking at a boring gravestone is over. And you think, how is it possible you can talk to somebody who's, who's dead? Well, you might be able to film them uh, before they go. Then you've, you've effectively got their face. And once you connect them to a program, something like ChatGPT, which understands what they may say, what they may think, all of a sudden you can recreate a version of them and sit down and have breakfast with them on a Sunday morning, which was what was put to us. Uh, and the, the gentleman, Tom Graham, actually made the point that he's already got grieving families coming to him and saying, we didn't get the chance to say goodbye to our child. Can we do this so that we can have one last conversation? It genuinely gives me chills talking about it. But there are tremendous possibilities too. When you look at a robot, you think, is it going to take over the world? Or perhaps would it be wonderful for dealing with my mother who's got dementia and Alzheimer's? Could it have the sort of patience that I don't possess to sit down and talk to her for hour after hour and make her feel comfortable and loved? Wow, it's it's really difficult, isn't it? Because you can see both sides of, of that equation. So there's a real live ethical debate here. Jono, are we any kind of closer to knowing where that ethical line is? No, and that's the big thing, that our government is going through a process at the moment of trying to work out where these, where this rule or these rules and legislation needs to be. Uh, the United States is talking about uh, effectively an artificial intelligence bill of rights. The United Kingdom and the European Union is moving towards it. But what you have to remember is everyone's scared that somebody else is going to cut their lunch here, that if they put a moratorium on this, uh, that another country or another, another company is going to move ahead. And you talked just before about tax and the need to reform tax. Well, how many years have governments been talking about growing the pie? And what everyone knows is that artificial intelligence could offer a boom when it comes to productivity. Now, the offside of that is the job loss, but they hope that they create other jobs. But they know this will end up ramping up productivity across the globe. In fact, uh, one report estimated that it could be globally up to $5 trillion, and every government wants a slice of that cash. And as one person put to me that when it comes to things like weapons, that if China puts its nuclear arsenal in the hands of its most intelligent citizen and that citizen happens to be AI, do you not think the United States is going to do the same thing? We're all going to move in that direction and that the age of machines governing and control us will only grow from this point out. Wow, you're right. I'm terrified as well. <laughs> Not so optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think. Thanks for that, yeah. Jono. I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> don't watch it in the dark tonight. Is that your advice? <laughs> watch it with friends. Watch it with family. Watch it with red wine. Okay. Don't watch it alone. <laughs> nor with a robot. Thanks so much, Jonathan Lee. Thanks. We'll see you soon. And that is at 8 p.m. tonight here on Sky News. Do not miss it.